go to the home page, you'll see at the top here, ratio calculator. And if you want to just click on that, what that will take you to is a page where you can input all your variables on your vehicle and then it will calculate what RPM you're doing for a certain vehicle speed. So let's just start by talking through those different variables today. Number one, we've got the gearbox. So there's not too many variants here for your exact vehicle. So you would pick what you've got. Um, let's say you've got a, uh, for the purposes of talking through this, let's just say you've got a TD5 Defender 90. That would have the R380 gearbox. You would pick the variant, which would be the type 68A Defender TD5. Um, now, if you don't know what R380, what gearbox you have, there's another tool on here that will tell you Product Finder. So you can have a look on there first. Anyway, that will give you all your, or uh, pre-fill all your ratios for a standard R380 for a TD5 Defender, type 68A. There's only one variable within that. We offer a high ratio fifth gear, which basically changes the number of teeth on the fifth gear on the lay shaft and the fifth gear on the main shaft and that will change your fifth gear from 0.77 to 0.731. Now, if you want to pick that option, to see what that will do in fifth gear, you would need to pick variant 53A, which is the V8 R380, because that's the only one that's got this high ratio fifth gear, 0.732. So as we were saying, most of these vehicles, certainly the diesel ones, have, um, well, the fifth gear ratio on the standard diesel is 0 0.77, which is 19 teeth on this main shaft gear. And then we have 37 teeth on the lay shaft gear. You have the option on the R380 to fit the slightly higher ratio, 0 0.732. And we would do that by fitting these two uh, V8 fifth gears in their place, which have a different tooth count of 20 teeth and 41 teeth on the lay shafts respectively. For this example, we're gonna stick with our type 68A. So that is your gearbox variant. Your next option, number two, would be the transfer case. Um, so down here, let's pick your transfer box. Again, let's stick with the same vehicle that has the LT230 transfer box. Variant, that has the type 43D, Defender TD5 1.4, which again, you can get from the product finder if you're not sure. So you would select that. So when we were talking about the ratio of these transfer boxes, essentially your low gear output and your corresponding intermediate low stay the same in all the different ratio boxes. Your input stays largely the same. There's a different tooth count, but the ratio is varied. When we talk about the different ratios, 1.2, 1.4, etc. It's all about high range that we're talking about. So the two that vary are the diameters of these two gears. As this gear gets bigger, the ratio gets lower. So the biggest one is 1.6, smallest one is 1.003. This gear changes diameter uh, correspondingly. Overdrive or underdrive or leave blank. For the purposes of this video, we're gonna leave that blank. You can mess about with that later if you want to, once you get the gist of it. So your next variable is going to be the differential ratio, item four. So let's scroll down here. Diff ratio, standard on these vehicles, on any coil sprung Land Rover, or pretty much all coil sprung Land Rovers, is 3.54. So we're going to select that. So on diff ratios, we're just interested in the crown wheel and pinion. So here's the crown wheel. And if we look down there, we've got the pinion. So very briefly on the ring and pinions, uh, as we mentioned a second ago, we've got the standard 3.54 ratio on these vehicles. And that is that ratio is calculated by the number of teeth on the crown wheel divided by the number of teeth on the pinion. So on 3.54, we have 46 divided by 13, which is 3.54. We also do a whole host of other ratios. And then your last variable would be tire diameter. 
Now, if you don't know what this is, but you know you have, for example, 235-8516s, a fairly standard tyre, then you would click on our tyre size calculator. So let's just do that. Click on there. That will take you to a website where you can type in 235-8516. Hit calculate. Your tyre diameter in inches is 31 0.7, that figure there. So let's hop back to the ratio calculator and type in 31.7. Maximum speed, you can leave that, whatever you like. Um, I leave it the default figures there. And then we want to click calculate ratios. So over here, we've got a whole load of tables of results. The only one we're really interested in is second table down. I always take a datum of 70 miles per hour. And at 70 miles per hour in fifth gear, you can see we're doing 2,854 RPM. So that's basically how you would use this. And what we'll do next time, I'll do a little bit more explaining on these different sections, and then we'll come back to how you would vary that and why you would want, want to vary that. Thank you.